Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanted to come on here and wish everyone a happy new year. This is my first official video of 2016. Other videos were shot like around the 30th and 31st and I couldn't upload them until the 1st of January. But this is my first official video in the new year. And you know, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who has made both my channels what they are today. Both of my channels have grown so much. Even my second channel is at over 100,000 subscribers, just like my first channel. It means the world to me that people support my content, people support my commentary, they support my recaps. You guys just accept me being me. Regardless if we agree or disagree, you guys just accept me being me and being opinionated and things like that. So it means the world to me. I definitely love my subscribers. So I wanted to come on here and basically talk about my new camera. A lot of folks have been sending me emails, wanting to know more about it, what camera I got and things like like that. I also want to talk about, you know, the things that I want to do on my channel this year. As you guys all know, I'm working on a brand new web series. Me and my co-writer, um, Aaron McRae, we've been writing literally since October. It's a web series kind of based on my life as a YouTube vlogger. And then you meet a lot of these other characters and what they're going through. It's basically focusing on young people leaving everything and moving out here to LA. You know, leaving their families, their careers, you know, making all these sacrifices, chasing the dream. So we've really been working hard writing this. We have our entire cast meeting this Saturday to do the table read. Um, I casted about 13 different people for different roles. You know, I got all my main characters filled. So it's just really been a lot of work work. It's been very stressful, especially trying to balance the web series and, you know, writing and everything else, and then still trying to balance YouTube and things like that. So once the series is shot and it comes to fruition, I definitely need you guys to support this in the new year. We're trying to show some positive content. We're trying to show black folks in a positive light. It's not going to be boring by any stretch of the imagination. It's more like a dramedy. So you'll have like some dramatic moments. You'll have a lot of funny moments as well, but it's not going to be anything ratchet. You know, I see so many people who complain, especially when I do recaps, They're like, you know, we, there's no good television. Television, there's nothing good and like I always say if you want to see something good you have to create it yourself you cannot look to Hollywood or other races to tell your story you have to tell your own story you have to become a writer you have to know how to operate a camera you have to know how to cast like I've learned so much living out here in LA it's really been a blessing then I get to put on my producer slash director hat so it's definitely been a blessing you know to move out here and to learn so much and to you know everything that I dreamt of doing out here I'm now accomplishing that and and then one more thing before I forget, if you're an actor or an actress in the LA area, we are still looking for people for like bit roles and you know, background and things like that when we're writing these scenes. So if you're interested in being a part of my web series, make sure you send me a headshot and your resume. Make sure that you title the subject web series so that way I know what it's about. But yeah, if you're in the LA area and you know, you're a serious actor or actress and you wanna be involved in this, definitely send me that information. I can get it over to our casting director. We can get you auditioned, you know, for any roles that we have available. But for the most part, we have been able to fill all our main characters. And what was so crazy is that during some of the auditions, some of my subscribers walked in. What I tell you was like the craziest thing, because I'm like, okay, next, what's your name? And they're like, oh my God, you're lovely T. I just watched it the other day on YouTube. So it's just funny because I've had to keep this so hush hush and I didn't want anybody knowing that I was behind the casting. So it's always funny to have subscribers come in and recognize me and then know that, you know what, if she's behind this, I definitely want to be involved cause she, because she's a positive person. She's a go-getter. She's about her business. So it means the world to me that, you know, once people figured out who I was, they took it seriously and that they really want to be involved, you know? So it was just wonderful meeting so many people who came through to audition. So it's just really been a lot of hard work, y'all. When I tell y'all, I am grinding non-stop you know what I mean I just can't stop I have too many people not just my family but now other people depending on me so I want to make this come to fruition I definitely need y'all support the same way you guys supported my clothing line and everything else and once again shout out to everyone who bought some products shout out to everyone who bought a t-shirt or a sweatshirt again it means the world to me that people are supporting my artwork literally this was a dream in my head and now it's artwork on people's walls that people are wearing you know people are sending me instagram pictures with their sweatshirts on so it's just been an awesome experience you know just being an entrepreneur and really able to live my dreams and do what i want to do and not having to rely on a boss and not having to answer to anyone just grinding 24 7 and you know if i can do this anybody can do this you just have to be motivated you have to be positive and you have to put in the hard work Point blank, period, honey. <laughs> so I know you guys are probably wondering about my hair, honey. Yes, fabulous for 2016. So like I said, I definitely want to take my channel in different directions. I want to do a lot of things. I get so many emails, especially now that the channel is growing. I get a lot of young women 
even with my mother's ages who asked me for advice with like makeup and I'm not like a makeup type person I'm not really into makeup like that but I have gotten a little bit better you know I can't admit myself <laughs> I've gotten a bit better with the makeup honey because y'all remember how my makeup job used to be honey oh my god but you know I watch a lot of these makeup guru people so people always want you know ask me like you know how do you do your eyebrows or how do you know what type of lipstick are you wearing and you know I want to start doing like little beauty things and like little beauty advices and tips because for me less is more more. Not into the whole va va voom dramatic, you know. I like it to look more natural. So people always ask me that all the time. Um, then also people ask me, you know, how I do my hair and they want more hair tutorials. So I do want to get back into that. You know, right now I'm giving my real natural hair a break, but you guys know my real hair is just as full as this, is the same texture as this. So it's always good to be able to wear different wigs. And this is a wig matter of fact that I ended up getting and I shaped myself. And while I was shaping this wig up, I'm like, damn, I wish I should have recorded this, you know, to give other people advice. Cause when I initially got the wig, I'm looking in the monitor over here. But when I initially got the wig, it was like, literally out to here it was just huge puffy you know I don't have no big face so it was just like overwhelming so it literally took me about 30 minutes but I went through and I just you know razored it and you know sliced it and cut it and I layered it and you know I hooked it up you know what I'm saying I'll get the way like you like <laughs> you know so I definitely wanted to rock my natural wig and stuff like that and show that there are wigs out there that match black people's textures we don't necessarily always have to wear you know Eurocentric weave or you know Asian weave you can wear weave that's you know that matches your natural hair texture but again there's nothing wrong with wearing Asian or Malaysian hair I'm not that type of person I don't know nobody you do what makes you feel comfortable you do what makes you feel beautiful at the end of the day you have to look in the mirror and be happy with yourself you can't worry about what folks think about you online point blank what to the period okay so that's a little bit about my hair because I know folks are gonna ask and before people ask me all the time where do you get your rings where do you get your outfits from so I really want to start doing lookbooks and just start doing more you know things like that to answer a lot of these questions that I see in the comment section or things that people email me but it is very hard to kind of do different style videos because I'm more used to the commentary and the commentary takes a lot longer than doing like a quick makeup video doing like a quick hair tutorial it takes a lot of research a lot of writing you know so so my commentary definitely takes first place because that's what most people come to watch but I will start doing other little videos as well you know what I mean that a lot of girls are interested in a lot of women are interested in because you know if I can be of help to anyone I definitely want to be that you know I don't consider myself any type of role model honey okay I live my life I do tea you know what I'm saying I speak for tea I don't speak for the african-american community I don't speak for the Nigerian community I don't speak for black women I don't speak for black people I simply speak for tea you you know what I mean? So that's the only person I can represent is myself and represent and put my best foot forward. And if I can help somebody else, you know what I'm saying, put their best foot forward, I'm down to do that. So you'll definitely be seeing more from this channel. I'm not too proud to ask for help. If you are in the LA area, honey, and you're a stylist and you want to get into, you know, putting together looks and things like that. I'm looking for people to help. If you know how to shoot, if you know how to edit, I'm looking for other people to shoot and edit the videos for me because I don't have time to really do it myself because I'm going to be working on set. I'm going to be working with this web series. So if this is something you want to get involved with and help me with these, you know, videos and help me with these lookbooks, I will definitely pay you. I don't, you know, have people work for me for free, honey. I'm not about that life. I will definitely pay you if you're doing like any type of editing and, you know, things like that for me at that point since you're operating the camera and you're gonna be dealing with the editing then at that point you would be compensated as well so this would not be a free gig I will pay anyone who's interested in helping with these lookbook videos and helping me edit it because like I said I'm just not gonna have enough time to do everything myself I'm one person honey if I could get a team behind me I would be a force to be reckoned with, okay, you hear me? But it's just me, you know what I mean? I'm, I am my own writer, I am the producer, I am the director, I'm the editor, I'm the set designer, I'm the lighting technician, I'm the camera operator. I do everything myself and sometimes it drives me crazy. You know, like right now I probably have 100 emails on Facebook that I haven't been able to get through. I have a lot of emails on Gmail, on Yahoo, you know, and it's hard. And on top of trying to deal with my cast members hitting me up and sending me text messages and emails with questions, you know, it's a lot of work. So I definitely need some help. And if you are available to help me, you know, if this is what you do, if you're down to do PA work, assistance work, you know, things like that, shoot me an email, let me know. Like I said, I'm never too proud to think that I can do everything myself. Help! Please help me, I'm falling. Stop. <laughs> help me, okay? If you can help me, please do. So anyways, 
I came on here to talk about my 4K camera, honey. Yes, I decided to drop some serious money on a brand new camera. I'm just the type of person, yes, I'm like any other girl out there, honey. I love BB and I love, you know, damn Christian Louis Vuitton and, you know, all that bullshit. I love handbags. I love jewelry. But I also love camera equipment. I also love my electronics. I also love my gadgets. And um, I ended up getting blessed with a brand new 4K camera. This videographer, he's a wedding videographer, and he shoots million dollar weddings. And he ended up needing to sell his camera because he was blessed with a 6K camera from Sony. And these cameras are not even out in the United States yet. He's the only person in America with a 6K Sony camera. And so because he was blessed with that camera, he thought it didn't make any sense to have two cameras, you know, two really, really high definition cameras. So he wanted to sell his camera. And when I tell you it was such a blessing, he gave me everything. The lens alone was $1,000. The body of the camera by itself is damn near four grand. You know, he gave me everything, extra batteries, you know, the rechargeable packs. I mean, he literally gave me about close to six to $8,000 worth of stuff for like a really good deal. And I just felt like, you know what, it's an investment. It's an investment on my channel. It's an investment for my web series. And being that everybody's moving to 4K television, I might as well up my content because YouTube is not 4K compatible. A lot of people are upgrading their TV. So it just doesn't make any sense to spend more money on another 1080p camera. So that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about was the new 4K camera. Now this is my old camera because people ask me all the time, what are you shooting on? Your videos are so crisp and clear. This is my old camera. This is a Canon Vixia um, HF G20. And you guys remember when I got this a few years ago because my other Canon camera went out. And I love this camera. I still shoot with this camera. Like when I was doing all the um, auditions and the castings, I recorded everybody on this camera just because it's smaller, it's easier to navigate, and it's 1080p. And it still looks good. This camera still retails for about seven to $800. I bought it for about $1,200 close to two and a half, three years ago. And I love this camera. And the best part about the camera is that it's touch screen. So I'm, I, initially I was gonna sell it, but I'm still gonna keep it just for like those little small events where I don't wanna lug my big 4K camera. So I'm gonna finish the rest of the shooting on this camera here so I can show you guys the 4K camera that I just purchased. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the camera. But first, let me show y'all my TV. I always have trolls coming at me like, what happened to your TV? It probably got repossessed. Uh-huh. So that is my TV here. I like, the reason why the TV's over here is because I just don't want it in the background anymore. It was just a lot of work putting the whole slideshow and everything together. And you know, my son, you know, we game. So it's like, uh, we, we didn't feel like moving the TV back and forth constantly. So yes, I still have my 4K 3D TV. How you doing? So anyhow, let me go ahead and pan up for you guys. So this is the brand new JVC. It's the GYLS 300 series. 4K, this just came out recently. I wanna say it came out around June or July of this year. So these cameras are literally brand new. That is a brand new Canon lens. Um, it's, a, it's a cinematic lens. Um, it's about $1,000, but it takes really, really good pictures. It takes awesome video. Everything is super clear. So this camera only comes with the base. That's all you get with the camera is just the base. So my thing is I got really tired of the whole DLSR craze um, where everybody was using the, um, basically the photography cameras for video cameras while they took stunning images. My issue with the whole thing is the fact that it was a camera so you can only record for up to 12 minutes and you had to start over. And that was just too much of a headache for me as a blogger. I needed something that could record, you know, longer than 12 minutes. Sometimes my videos are 20 minutes, sometimes they're 30 minutes. So I needed something that could really, really work. And this camera to me was just a blessing. You know, I, I really love it. Um, it has all types of functions. The only thing is it's not touchscreen like my other camera. You know, it has buttons on the sides here, like if you need to get into the menu and things like that. Um, the cool part too um, is that this is just as powerful as a red cam. But the SD cards are different. If you've ever used a red cam, you have to use a special type of card um, to hold the memory. With this, it just use a regular SD card. Um, you do need a specific type. This is the SanDisk Extreme Pro. Then you need to make sure that they're SDX1. And this one holds 64 gigs, and I have another one in there as well that holds 64 gigs. So you can record a lot of stuff with this, and it's going to be in high depth. So that, to me, really appealed to me with this camera, that I didn't need a special type of disc to record. I could just use a simple SD card. And I got the SD cards on Amazon and on eBay for, like, a really good deal. 
Um, also, the cool thing about this is that you can also live stream with this camera. So you can hook it up to Ustream, any type of live streaming content, you can do it with this camera. And it makes it look really, really nice and really, really crisp. So that's another good thing about the camera as well. I have no complaints whatsoever. I cannot wait to start shooting this web series with the camera. Um, right now, I have, you need to make sure you have a good tripod when you have cameras like these, especially heavy body cameras. You don't want to put it on a small tripod. Like my Canon sits on that tripod, and that's all the way closed down right now. That, you know, it gets up pretty high, but you can tell it's like really flimsy. So this would not work for this particular camera. So what I ended up getting was a brand new Magnus um, tripod, and it's a fluid head tripod. So it holds the camera perfectly. Um, I ended up getting it off of Craigslist. Photography company's going out of business and they initially wanted 100 for it. And if you go on Amazon, they run for close to 200, so I knew that was a good deal. I ended up talking her down to 75 bucks. So always, always look on eBay, look on Amazon, look on Craigslist, you know, try and find the best deals where you can. But this is an awesome tripod, I really love it. The cool function is that the camera has HDMI connection. So like when I record my videos, um, you can see it right here. Samsung, it's a touch screen computer. And basically I use this as a monitor. So when I'm recording my videos, I can see, you know, if everything looks cool in the background, if anything is misplaced, I can see it. So that's another good thing about the camera. I can connect it there. So that is the camera right here. Um, so that is the camera. I love it. You know, like I said, sometimes you have to upgrade your equipment, especially when you run across a really good deal. So, you know, if you guys are interested in this camera, definitely look it up, check out the specs. Um, it has great reviews, but this is definitely a good 4K camera to have. All right, so you guys just got a chance to check out my 4K camera. So like I said, I have no complaints whatsoever. I really love the camera. I think it's a really good investment, especially for what I do. So if you guys are interested in getting more information about it, want to know more about the camera, if you're looking to purchase a 4K camera, but you don't know where to start, don't have the money to spend 30 grand on a red cam, I'll put the information down below. You guys can check it out. Um, I'll put the information of the lens and you know all the parts that I have for the camera to get it up and running. So you know it's definitely a good investment if you really want to be serious about videography and cinematography as well so anyways you guys i just wanted to come on here and once again wish my entire channel both channels lovely t 2002 and lovely t 2013 a happy new year you know what i mean it's 2016 new year higher standards i hope everybody's dreams comes true i hope everybody stays focused and keeps their eye on the prize so i'll talk to you guys later deuces hey guys it's your girl t make sure to subscribe like and share my videos you can also visit lovelyt.com to purchase any merchandise also don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos talk to y'all later deuces